I can give this to you. A grieving father passes out flyers seeking answers near the scene where a run-in with police left his son, Kelly Thomas, brain damaged. The 37-year-old removed from life support Sunday. The only thing we have left of our son is the blood in the gutter. That's all we have left. Police say officers approached Thomas last Tuesday night after receiving reports that someone was breaking into cars near the bus depot in Fullerton. Police allege Thomas resisted arrest for several minutes. Mark Turgeon saw it differently. He says he was only 20 feet away. They kept beating him and tasering him. I could hear him zzz, 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 and he wasn't even moving. He had one arm in front of him like this. He wasn't resisting and they kept telling him he's resisting, he's res quit resisting and he wasn't resisting. Police say they won't talk about what force was used since it's under investigation. But they say at least six officers were involved and two officers suffered broken bones in the fight. During the course of that, uh, taking uh, Mr. Thomas into custody, that's when he uh, suffered his injuries uh, because uh, he wasn't complying with the officer's uh, orders and directions. Thomas's father, a former Orange County Sheriff's deputy, alleges Fullerton police used excessive force. With six officers on him, that could average with all their equipment to 1,500 pounds of trained men against a 165 pound unarmed homeless man. His eyes were swollen shut, his nose was broken, and uh, I, I just couldn't imagine what happened to him. Thomas's family admits he was homeless and had a history of mental illness, but was not a violent person. The owner of a nearby cafe agrees. She saw him daily. Everyone knew him and knew, you know, that he had some problems, but he was a harmless soul. Now, if you witnessed what happened, call Fullerton Police at 714-738-6715. Now, the family also has an email address set up, so you can give information anonymously. You can get that email address by going to our website at abc7.com. Now, officials say that an autopsy was performed today. The results, however, are still pending further tests and further investigation by Fullerton Police and by the Orange County Coroner's Office. Reporting live from Fullerton, Eileen Freyer, ABC. C7 Eyewitness News. Okay.